job is fishing, what do you do on vacation? Go fish, of course. So this morning I'm gonna take off and uh, drive about an hour. I'm gonna meet up with um, with my buddy Bruce, who's our Patagonia rep, and we're gonna get on and go chase some trout this morning. What's up, Bruce? What's going on, man? Oh, there you go. Good to get see it, ya. Get it in there. Apparently Bruce and I hadn't, uh, we haven't talked in a while or neither of us have gotten out of the house for a bit because we, we've kind of spent the last hour just kind of chit chatting and hanging out and having a good time. But now we're motivated. We're, we're, we're ready to fish, right? We're waiting for the sun to come out. <laughs> yeah, we were, it was a little chilly. So we're, we're super stoked. We each got a dry fly rod rigged up and then kind of a general purpose rod already rigged so we can just go fish. So super important uh, meeting today. Yeah, meeting with our Patagonia rep. <laughs> so I told my family I had a had a work meeting. So we're uh, but we'll go over why we're meeting today in a little bit later. So That's why I'm missing my Zoom call today. Yep, we have some product testing. On the water. <laughs> we're testing our uh, our traction with our boots. You can see the moss down here. The crazy part is when it covers that rock. Yeah. I mean, usually it's a lot cloudier. And it, I would walk here, it'd be like this deep, and you couldn't see the bottom. And mm. uh, like you would just like boom, just fall. You fell <laughs> like this, and you're like, man, I feel like an idiot walking across this thing. Then these foot tractors came along, and it was like they just cut through the rock, and it was like yeah. it's perfect. So. The water, water actually looks pretty clear. I think the water looks great right now. Yeah. Man, this place is beautiful. Yeah. You know, just got off the the water last week on the John Day with my family floating and fishing smallmouth. And it, you're right, it definitely has that same kind of characteristic of the canyons and trees. Wow. Kind of reminds you of quintessential Oregon, right? Like, yeah. you did the John Day. You come here to the Crooked. You get these same rock formations, same birds. Beautiful. We don't even need to fish. We can just call it good right now. All right, got a beer in the fridge. That's I have a bottle of whiskey in my backpack right now. <laughs> okay, this is how it goes. So Bruce says stand here. This is a good spot and it goes downstream and catches a fish on the first cast. If you fish with Bruce, just know, don't fish in the spot he says to fish. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck. You fish here. It's, it's, it was good one time. His second cast, second fish. I've made 20 casts and no fish. <laughs> I'm changing flies. Okay, so I snuck in downstream of Bruce and took his spot. To see if I could uh, start catching some fish and cleaning up and he took my spot. And he caught a fish and I haven't. Feeling a little silly right now because he's putting the smack down on fish and I don't know what my problem is. Yes. Sweet. Yeah. Keep them wet. And a good release. Look at that. <laughs> not hard. Put this sweet little baby back. Just pull the red tab. And I've got instant traction to go anywhere I want to go. So, a little bit thinner, so it just cuts through the water. Kind of nice. A little catch in here. So if I can do that, I should cut this back around. But then when you get to a safe distance, just an easy pop here, you slide that down. Don't want to lose that. 
just tucked away. You're good to go. Okay, well after Bruce hooked uh, like 15 or 20 fish and I did not hook a single fish, the clinic is over. We're gonna go to a different spot where uh, maybe we can put some training wheels on and I can find something. So here's my opportunity for redemption, see if I can hook a fish. And uh, Bruce is giving me first water, which, you know, I have a pretty good short-term memory. I remember th this same scenario uh, first thing this morning. I'll go down to the bad water down here. Yeah, Don't the, worry about the it. The bad water, yep. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll fish this little He's going to wait for me to make three casts, and then he's going to walk down there and first cast, <laughs> boom. <laughs> just <That's it. laughs> So, uh, so got to have a... Um, uh, chubby Chernobyl on for a dry fly, which is serving as the indicator, and then using about three feet of tippet to the first dropper and fishing two small droppers. And so tailwater fishery, trying to trying to fish uh, subsurface until we see fish coming up and rising. We haven't really seen anything rising yet. So I'm fishing the Sage X five weight, nine foot five weight, and I have the new Rio Gold that has the slick cast coating. And oh my goodness, this this line is as amazing as they say it is it's pretty pretty remarkable uh, but i'm really stoked on the dry fly rod that i have set up i have the uh, sage trout ll 486 with a rio perception line on it and have a little caddis rigged up on that one and hopefully i get a chance to use it because that rod is uh is a dream to cast and right here i mean this is just beautiful water be be really fun to see some fish coming up so we'll see how it goes Come on, eat it. I had lunch, now you have lunch. It's gotta be hungry. Let's go fishing here. Who wants it with me? The whole time. I brought the fish with me. Put him on the end of my line. There you go. Oh, come on, Blake. Come on. Come on. That was the only one fish that was in here. All right. Yeah. Either that or we're going to... been all down a little bit lower. My net's ready. You know, what we really should have right now is Tenkara. Mmm, Tenkara. If we had that, we'd be catching Game. lots of fish. Game changer. Stupid fish. Right there. Right on the, right at the end on the ceiling. Wow. That's crazy. Might be a soft tackle time. All right, time to change that thing up. Yeah, right? If you ran through that whole thing and we didn't get anything, it's like according to the Osprey, there's fish here. Right? Yeah, that Osprey looks well fed. Here's the crazy part. There's probably 150 fish within 20 yards of you. The thing I found is that the people that, the people that say, oh, I don't really care if I catch fish, I just like being out there are usually people that don't catch many fish. No. Oh, yeah. I mean, attitude is so much of it. Yeah, I think that's confidence in that fly, confidence in everything. That's crazy, you got four little nibs on a swing on the fly that should be taking them. Gotta want it, Blake, feel it. Feel it, you want it. Your swing technique and see if it still works. Oh, I saw the twitch. Oh, there he is. There he is. How many white fish in a row is that? Four? Dude, I want a white fish tearing. They are natives. They're like Central Oregon bonefish. <laughs> Fail. Okay, Central Oregon finally caught a white fish. Yes, to close out our, our day. 
So epic white fish after lunch to finally come back and beat Bruce. Even though he had about 20 fish, uh, you know, we didn't have the camera rolling the whole time. So missed quite a few of my, uh, the other ones that, that uh, weren't captured on film. I think next time, Blake, we'll, we'll get double camera action. We'll get Make double camera. Make sure get... we don't lose any okay. Okay. strong footage. So, but we got a lot of other fun stuff coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. And uh, thanks for joining us. Leave comments down below. We'd love to hear from you and have a great day.